What's up everyone? Welcome back to Real Simple Mushrooms where we help to simplify home mushroom cultivation. Uh, today's video is a DIY tutorial on how to make your own liquid culture lure lid for filling liquid culture syringes. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about why we would even want to make one of these um, when we can just use the simple stick on injection ports and filter patches like I have here. Well the answer is pretty simple. Limiting the avenues of contamination is the biggest thing. While these simple lids work great and a lot of people use them with success, they have two major drawbacks. Number one, and the most important one, every single time you push a needle through this injection port and you enter this jar, you risk contaminating the entire jar of liquid culture. Uh, the second one is you're drawing everything up from the top instead of the bottom. You know, mycelium likes to sit on the bottom here. Um, so it's tough to get everything out of the jar as well. So you end up wasting a bunch of it. <clears throat> now the lid I'm about to show you how to make this solves both of those issues first of all everything connects right here to this little stop cock right your syringe connects right here you don't ever have to enter that jar okay that right there is going to save you tons and tons and tons of wasted liquid culture due to contamination uh, second this jar has a dip tube on it. Okay, so now instead of drawing liquid from the top, we're actually sucking up all the liquid from the bottom. That's not only gonna allow us to get everything out of there, but since the mycelium likes to sit at the bottom, we're gonna be able to pack more mycelium into each syringe, making them a little more effective. All right, now let's go over everything that we're gonna need for this little project. Everything can be found on Amazon. I put links in the video description for you guys. Uh, first thing you're going to need is a drill and drill bits. Now, I like to use a step bit because we're going to be drilling three different size holes in this lid. So a step bit allows me to do that without having to change bits. It just makes everything go a lot faster. Uh, these bits also work really wonders on drilling holes in monotubs without breaking them. Check out the link above if you want to see it in action. Uh, you're going to need mason jar lid, obviously. Um, I prefer the genuine ball lids. These are polypropylene. These are pressure cooker safe. Uh, you have to make sure everything that we use is made of polypropylene or it won't survive the heat of the pressure cooker. <clears throat> I've tried some of the cheaper lids and they work, but they all end up in the trash eventually. Spend the extra money, get the genuine ball lids. They're, they're really high quality. They last a long time. Um, you're going to need quarter inch inside diameter silicone uh, tubing. You're going to need a quarter inch through bulkhead hose barb uh, connection. You're going to need a quarter inch hose barb female lure connection. These two have to be polypropylene or they'll melt when you pressure cook. You're going to need some red high temp RTV sealant. And you're going to need injection ports. It doesn't matter if it's a stick on kind or the rubber through kind. I like the rubber through kind because I find the stick on kind have a little poor surface. I prefer the smoother surface of the rubber ones. They also last a little bit longer. Uh, and you'll need a filter patch uh, as well as a, a lure lid okay and the final thing that you're going to need is a stop cock uh, i know it's a funny word no it's not the girl's friend at the bar that won't let you talk to her um, this is a medical device these are sterile uh, they come packaged in, in singly so those are like probably the most important part of this whole thing here all right, so now that we have everything together, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to put all of this together and make it work. All right, so let's get into putting this together. It's really, really simple. I've taken the liberty of drilling the holes already. So you're going to drill three holes in the lid. You're going to drill a 3 8 inch hole, a 7 16 inch hole, and a quarter inch hole here. This is going to be for our dip tube. This is going to be for our injection port, and this is going to be for our filter patch. You're going to cut two lengths of tubing. Your dip tube is six inches from the long end. Make sure to cut the bottom on a 45 degree angle to make the pickup better. And then on the top, you're going to have an inch and a half length, and that's just going to connect this bulkhead to your lure cap. So we're going to take our, bulk, our bulkhead. We're going to insert about halfway through the threads there. We're going to take a little bit of this RTV sealant. I like to use a swab because this stuff is messy. It'll get all over you. Just put a little bit around there. Okay. 
right? Don't need much. Twist that down, okay. Now you've got that in there. <clears throat> Washer on. I'm gonna thread this down on here. It just needs to be hand tight. Um, that sealant will create a good gasket there. Hand tight like that. That's all you need there, right? Next, we're gonna install our injection port. That you just push through here. Shouldn't need any sealant on that. It's uh, should seal pretty good there by itself. Okay. Now we're going to take our filter patch and we're going to pop it right over this hole here. This is going to be for our gas exchange. Okay. Now, your six inch length of tube is going to connect to the bottom of this bulkhead here. I like to angle it so it's, it goes into the jar like that. All right, that's easy enough. Now we have this little union piece here, this inch and a half piece. Simply slide that on there, all right? Then take your lure barb and slide that in there. <clears throat> These things can be tight, but you know it's a good seal. Okay, and really, that's it. Now, when you're pressure cooking these things, these stop cocks are not pressure cooker safe, okay? And that's why I have these little lids here. Again, PP5 lids, this screws right on here. When you're pressure cooking, you have that lid on, you're good to go, all right? When you're ready to fill, you take the stop cock out of the sterile syringe here and you put it on here, all right? Now I know what you're thinking, is that thing pressure cooker safe? No, it's not. I tried this one, as you can see, these caps melted on, I can't even get these off now. So do not pressure cook these. They will not last. Put the cap on, pressure cook it to sterilize it. When you're ready to fill, take a sterile stopcock out, put it on, connect your syringes and fill away. So I'm gonna get all this cleaned up. I'm gonna pull out one of my jars and then uh, I'll show you guys this thing in action and how well it works. All right, well now that I've shown you guys how to make this lid, let's, uh show you how it works. First of all, this is what I used to use. Uh, if you've ever used one of these things in this little metal thing right here, and you're twisting on syringes and twisting them off and filling them, this will hurt your hand after about two or three syringes. This thing is not comfortable at all. It definitely fatigues your fingers, it hurts. It's not great, all right? That's another issue this thing solves. So let's say, obviously I have no mycelium in here. I just threw some water in there with some food coloring. <clears throat> you've got it out of your pressure cooker. Everything's sterile. Now you're gonna take your stopcock. Remember, you cannot uh, pressure cook these. Uh, they'll melt, it's just not, won't, won't withstand the heat. So you're gonna take your cap off. Make sure you're doing this in your still air box or in front of your flow hood, All right? We're gonna install the stopcock. Now, this is so much faster and so much more comfortable. Simply remove the top cap here. Attach your syringe, open the valve. The valve, that's the way it's, it's open, all right? So if it's facing this way, that's the way the valve's going. If it's facing this way, it's up and down. Now your first syringe is gonna have to take up this volume of air in the dip tube, so you'll get a little bit of air bubble in the first one. But after that, you close it off. Put on your next syringe. Open it up. Very easy, very fast. No air bubbles. Like, look at that. And that is a full, completely full syringe there. So, that's why I use these. Uh, it's very simple to make. It's pretty darn cheap to make, too. Definitely recommend it over the traditional methods. Um, you'll find yourself losing a lot less jars to contamination this way and saving your fingers uh, a lot of, a lot of <laughs> pain and suffering. All right, well, thanks for joining me on this video. I uh, look forward to you guys catching the next one. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you have any suggestions or changes or feedback. Uh, yeah, and thanks again. 
If you like what you see, don't forget, hit that like button and subscribe. Peace.